So now that we've created our first CMS item, in this video, we're going to build and style our first CMS detail page. And we're also gonna link the content within our CMS to the page itself. So let's go back to our canvas. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to CMS and click on this little plus. And you'll see we've got the option for our blog here. And we're going to create a detail page. Now we also have the option to create an index page, which is very similar to this page here, where we can showcase all of our CMS items under a collection list. But for now, we wanna create a detail page for each individual CMS item. So by default, when I create this page, it'll essentially grab all the content and fields from my CMS item and put them on the page. But this doesn't really look super great. So for now, let's go ahead and just remove all of this. And now we can go ahead and just style our page however we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my nav bar. I'm also gonna draw in a new frame here and we'll set the width to be 100% and we'll set the height to be 400 pixels or maybe a little less. And let's just put a default image in here for now. And let's also copy in a section from my landing page, which has a heading here, some paragraph text for my blog content and a section to link the profile picture and name and description of the author. And last but not least, I also wanna drag in my footer components. And it looks like we've got some sizing issues here. So I'm just gonna remove the padding from the top and the bottom and we're gonna reduce the gap as well. And let's just add some padding to my content here. Okay, great, so we've built the skeleton of my blog page, but the problem is it's not actually linking to my CMS content. Now, one of the really powerful things about the Framer CMS is for us to select an element on our canvas. And then if we go over to our properties panel, you'll see we've got these little pluses here, which if you're familiar with components, they work in a similar way where we can press on this little plus and set a variable to our CMS. So for example, if we selected the blog title here and select the variable to be the title, it's essentially going to pull the title from my CMS item and put it on display on the canvas. So we can do the same thing with my hero image here. So instead of showing a sunflower for every single page, I could set the variable to be my hero image. And we can do this for the rest of the page as well. So all we're gonna do is select the content that we wanna link and we're gonna set a variable to be content. And we'll also do the same for the author image the author name and the author title. So now if we go back to our CMS and say if we updated the title of my article to be my incredible article and then if we went back to our page, you'll notice that it's updated here as well. Now let's say for example, we have another article and let's call this my five top tips for Framer. And let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. Now, if we go back to our canvas under our CMS pages, you'll notice we can actually switch between my collection items. So I can preview what my site will look like on every CMS page. Now, one of the important things to note here is that my styling on my CMS pages are global, meaning that if I make a change here, so for example, if I change the text size here to be 54 to 36, that styling will change on all other pages. And that's because our CMS pages are essentially a template, which is modified with content that is linked through your variables in the CMS. And that's how you create the detail page inside your Framer CMS.